Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we're going to be talking about sets, but looking at the concept of intersection. So before we go into the symbology and uh, the mathematical application of intersection, let us try and understand what the word itself means. What are the synonyms of intersection? So in English, to intersect is to meet, right? Is to meet, or if you say, two roads have an intersection. So that intersection is the part of the road that is common to both roads, right? So you're thinking of a common trait, right? Common trait. So to meet or to, to have something in common, that means that it's in A and it's in B. The keyword is and. We are saying it's in that set and it is also in the other set. Right? So that's where the com common as commonality aspect comes in. So, the sign for intersection in mathematics is this, call it the upside down U, right? Because remember unity, union is the opposite, it's a U. So intersect is the upside down U. I hope that will help you remember intersection. Think of an upside down U. Right, now, intersection. Let's say for example we have a set A. And we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we have a set B, which is 10, 7, 8, 4, 3, 1. Right. So these are two sets. How many elements do we have in A? So you're going to say number of elements in A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are five elements in A. And then you're going to ask yourself, how many elements do we have in B? So number of elements in B would be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there will be six of them, right? Now, before I go on to intersection, I'm just going to do the union as well, right? So A, union B, is equal to, remember union is combining collectively, taking everything that is in A and everything that is in B and putting it together. So, A union B is equal to, you take the first, these ones, one, two, three, four, five. This is everything that is in A. Now, remember you're combining, you're uniting with B. So B would be 10, seven, eight, four, and three, and one have already been included when we put in the elements of A. So we don't, we don't have to redo it, because that'll be duplication. So it means we can close down the set. So what is the number of elements in A, U, and B? So N, A, U, and B, would be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. Can you see? Someone will say, but the problem is that there were 5 in A, 6 in B. I expected a total of 11, but my total is only 8. So what happened to the other 3? The reason why the total here is eight is because we didn't list this three. We didn't list this three because it would have been a duplication. Why? Because these elements are common in A and B. If you look, one, three, and four are also in A. So that accounts for the three difference. So now, A intersection B, we are saying what elements are in A and, right, keyword is what? And are also in B. Obviously, we now know what they are. The ones in red here, it's 4, 
3 and 1. And what is N A intersection B? Meaning what is the number of those elements that are in both A and B? We can find that it's what? It's 3. So 8 plus 3 should account for everything. So it's always important. And implies intersection. For union, you're saying they are either in A or in B. So or is the key word for union and is the key word for intersection. So think of situations in your life every day where you have common sets, common elements in a set and you have sets that don't have common elements and try and understand the concept of intersection and union. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.